If you're planning to grab a Hostinger VPS and you need to install it on a VPS manager, well, I'm going to show you how to do it on YWP. These guys are specialized on WordPress websites. So let me show you how right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to install a Hostinger VPS on FlyWP. Now, it's kind of different, the installation of a VPS on this server manager. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Once you learn how, it's going to be a breeze, okay? Now, before we get started with this tutorial, I want to show you our sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. And I'm going to show you their VPS plans. So do check out that link in the description. And there's an extra discount coupon code that you want to check out. Now jump into hosting, go into BPS hosting, and they have several BPS plans. Depending on what you need is the plan that you're going to select. Now, one of the coolest things that you get is you get a dedicated IP and you get full root access. So do check it out. Now I'm going to add this one to my cart, which is $7.99 a month. Plus there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. Now, once you're here, you want to select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 24 months, you lock in the lowest price and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, right now the price is $191 with 76 cents, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, go ahead and apply it and the price is gonna drop to $172 with 58 cents. So don't forget to use that coupon code. Now, how to install the BPS on FlyWP. First of all, jump into your hosting or panel. Once you purchase your BPS, you're gonna find it under BPS, okay? So go ahead and manage BPS, and we're gonna need the SSH access, okay? So if you don't remember your password, go ahead and reset it. And be aware that you have to have Ubuntu 2204 to have it work with FlyWP. If you made the mistake of installing a different OS, then go ahead and jump into OS panel, operating system, plain OS, search for Ubuntu, 2204 and change the OS, okay? That's in case if you didn't do it from the beginning, okay? Now, let's go into FlyWP. We're gonna create a new server. And in this case, we're gonna select custom. And in custom, we're gonna add the IP address, which is from RBPS from Hostinger. Let's copy this. Let's go ahead and add it here. Name it whatever you like. In this case, I'll leave it as it is. Port 22 is fine. And we have selected the, the operating system, which is Ubuntu 2204, okay? Let's create the server. And it's going to give us this code right here that we need to add on our terminal. Don't worry, this is gonna be super easy. Trust me, okay? Now let's go into our hosting our panel right here. And let's go into SSH access. This is the BPS password that we're going to need. If you forgot it, go ahead and change it right here, okay? And the username is root. So we're gonna browse terminal. Check this out. I'm gonna click in, whoop, I'm gonna click on this right here. And it's going to open up the terminal for this BPS. Once we're here, it's gonna ask us for our root password. Well, credential and then the password. So let's type in root, let's hit enter. Now it's asking for password. I'm gonna type in the password for my BPS. Let's click enter again and boom, we are in, okay? Now, if the password is wrong, go ahead and reset it, okay? Now, let's go back into FlyWP. Let's grab this code, copy it. Let's go back here. Now you can't directly copy here, but there's an option. So click on this little menu right here and we're gonna click on this to copy. And let's add the text that we need to copy. Let's click okay. There we go, it's been added. Let's click this to go away. Let's click right here at the end. Let's hit enter and boom, the installation process has begun. Let's close this right here and you can see it established a connection to the server, provided has started and configuration swap space. So the installation is gonna start right away once you add that code here on terminal. And you can see it's doing the installation process right there. Once it says finish, we're gonna go ahead and close this and let FlightWP finish the installation, okay? So let's give it a few seconds. There we go, it's been done. We can go ahead and close this and the installation will finish over here on FlightWP. Now, once you have your BPS from Hostinger installed here on FlightWP, you're good to go to start installing your WordPress sites. It's super easy, all right? There you go. That is how you're going to install your Hostinger BPS here on FlightWP. So don't forget to use the coupon code for the discount on Hostinger. If you want to check out FlightWP, the link will be provided in the description also. And that's a wrap.